Hey guys, Slenderman here. Welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be showing off the Telraw and Title command. So, and also the commands next to that. And you probably already know, I got Optifine, you can probably tell. It's very handy. I absolutely love it. And if you're wondering, I couldn't wear shaders because it just lagged out the computer. And filming, it, it just didn't agree with me. So, um, today we're, yeah, we're just going to talk about the title and uh, uh, tell raw command. But before I do that, I would like to say thank you to Fierce Ninja for building this and giving out free. If you want to see his channel, I'll link it down into the description. So it'll be down there, and you can check out his channel. He has, like, free spawns, factions, PV PvP places and stuff. But it's really handy dandy and cool. So let's go ahead and get into what it does. Oh, and also, of course, you can see that I'm using a new map. It's very, very pretty. I like it. If it was in shaders, it would be a lot better. But it just doesn't agree with me. So um, here we have the what it does section. This is basically what I'm going to be showing you what it does. So this is the say command, and it just says hello. And then this is the Telerall command. It says hello with the, out, the annoying at thing. I'll show you how to do those later. And then this is the title and subtitle. The title is at the top, and the subtitle is, at, is the bottom smaller one. So now that we, I've showed you all these, I can get to over how it works. So you can use this in several uh, things. It's really useful, and I can show you all the things later, but... Right now, we're going to go into here, and this is where I keep all my command blocks and stuff. So, we haven't got much here. We only just started. So, here we have the uh, say and uh, tell raw command, and then here we have the uh, title and subtitle. Actually, the say command isn't over here, but I'm going to show you how to use it. So, you want to go slash, and then press, and then type in say, and then just type in whatever you want. And then it'll say it. So it ju it just said that I said it. So it's it's kind of the same. But if I just did that, it would be kind of the same. But if you put it in a command block, then it would go at uh, with the square brackets, and then it would uh, say whatever you wanted to say. So if you don't want those annoying um, brackets up here that I told you about here, let me go. See, if you don't want that annoying bracket right there, then what you can do is that way, that's why we have the tell raw command. I already showed you back up there what it was like, so now here's the tell raw command. So you can uh, basically do a lot of things with this. You can uh, use bold text. You can use italic text. Italic text. I don't know exactly how that works, but... Uh, and you can put it in any color. You can, uh, let's see, what else? You can put a dash in the middle. You can put an underline under it. And you can also make it go like crazy numbers, but I won't show you at this video. You, you might, you're going to have to go to another video, and they'll show you, like, all the other stuff. But for now, I'm going to show you how to use it in color. So, right here we have the whole tell raw command. So, Basically, what you want to do, you don't have to do this inside of your command block. You can just do it right here. Uh, let's see. Oops. Tell. Oops. Let's just tell raw. And then let's say I wanted to target me. And then you would put the text here. So you can always just, yeah, I was, as I was saying, you can always just put it in the chat. And I'll explain this later. I was just trying to type in something quick. So let's just say I want to say hi. So I said hi. <laughs> and it, do it doesn't say, like, I said hi or anything. So uh, you can put it in color and stuff. So let me show you how to do that. So first what you want to do is, of course, you start out with the slash tell raw. Now that just starts the command. Now the second one is who you want to target. So um, in the last videos, we've been uh, showing how to use the at P, at R, at A, at E, and uh, how to use those. So you can just mess around with those. If you want it to be the nearest player, then it'll target the nearest player. And if you want it to be all players, at A, which that would target all players, 
and then at E, all entities, and then at R, a random player. So that's kind of a good randomizer. So after that, you want to put a squiggly bracket. Um, not quite sure. I, I haven't been uh, remembering this in a while, but I'm not quite sure what that is again. But anyways, you, you put that right there, uh, and then you type in text, and then another one, and then colon, and then uh, another one pizza or whatever you want your chat to be so just put whatever you want and then uh another uh thing in my I don't remember what it's called what's it called huh I don't know but anyways then you want to put a comma if you want to make it colored or you can just use this text and it'll show up white but if you want to make it colored you put comma and then uh, I'm not quite sure what that is, like an uppercase bracket or something? But anyways, you put that right there, and then color, and then that, and then uh, colon, that, and then red. So you want to put red. <laughs> well, you can put whatever color you want, uh, but here are some colors that don't work, like purple doesn't work. Let, um, let's see, what else doesn't work? Let's see. I don't know, but let me try light, light blue, I I heard you can do like light and dark stuff, so this is like the first time I'm ever going to try it, so let's see, nope, it doesn't work, so, but I know you can do dark blue, hopefully, dark blue, so you can put whatever color you want, except sometimes it won't work, so let's just put that back to red, so that it says R-E-D, there you go. You got a pizza that <laughs> says red. So, pretty cool. Now, there's also something else I want. Uh, if you want to add more text to it, but you don't want it to be the same color, here's what you want. So, broadcast server will restart in five minutes. It won't actually do that, but, I mean, you can do that if you are running a server. It's really cool. So, and it only uses the tell raw command. So, you would do tell raw add p, and then you would do the same text thing, but instead of putting another uh, squiggly bracket after red, then you would put the uppercase thing, I mean comma, uppercase, and then extra, make sure it's not lowercase, and you want to spell all these things right except for, like, what you want, and red. <laughs> so um, then you put a, another colon, a uh, square bracket, uh, curly bracket, and then the upper thing, and then text, and then colon text, you get the thing. I'm just going to skip those. So you would put text, colon, and then you would put whatever you, you want the thing to be. Now, if you if you put this regular, just like this, without the whole color thing, and put the squiggly bracket right there and everything, then it will... Um, it will it will uh, not put it in color, and it'll put it in color as the previous text. So let's let me show you. Actually, no. Uh, it'll just like if that says it's red, then this will be red. But if you don't want that to be red, like right here, see it says red. It goes red, and then it's the server will restart in five minutes. So, uh, oopsies. Oh, no, it does work. Oh, there we go. Whoopsies. Sorry about that. But anyways, so what you would want to do is call, comma, color, uh, bra uh, nah, I'm losing it, um, colons, and then white, or whatever color you want. If you want to put it white, then it'll show up like white, and you can put red, green, whatever you want. So there's a bunch of other things you can do with it, but I'm... Um, yeah, as I said, you can find another video on that. I'm not going to spend all this time doing it. But anyways, let's get on to the title command. So the title command is actually pretty, it's it's kind of like the tell rock command, and it's pretty simple. So <laughs> it's not as hard as you might think it is. So you just put slash title and then at P or whatever you want and and then put title again and then put a curly bracket, text, See, you put the same thing as if you were to put it in the tell raw command. So text, colon, and then whatever you want, and then comma, color, and then colon, and then green. But make sure you have these things, as I said. So 
Yeah, so you want those, and then that's pretty much it for that here. Let me destroy this for one second. So if I did that, it would say level one, and it's in green. Now, you can put it whatever you want. Same thing with the tell all command. Um, it'll be the almost exact same. So if you want, like, uh, if you want, like, a uh, bold thing, an italics, you can find a tell all command um, tutorial, and it'll say, like, uh, italics, uh, bold, underline, and all that stuff. And then you would just put the same thing into here. Now, if you want this, so let's put this here. So level one, and then you want the under uh, the uh, uh, subtitle, you would put slash title, at P, same thing, except you would put subtitle instead of title, and then basically the same thing as the tell all command. So you would put uh, curly bracket text, colon, but, and then whatever you want. So, yeah. Uh, that's what you, oopsies. <laughs> that's what you can do. I am just crazy out here. So you can do whatever you want in this. It's really, really cool. And I guess that's pretty much it. Um, the reason why I haven't been um, posting very many videos is because I've been expecting uh, me to get a mic sooner than I, than it happened, so it didn't really happen, and it hasn't happened yet, but I will be getting a mic, mic soon, hopefully, if I can just get enough money to, so, <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty much it, and also, let's see, shaders and all that, I guess I already told you guys, but anyways, if you like this, please like, and if you want to subscribe, that would be very greatly appreciated, and I'll see you later, goodbye! Bye.